You know, Midwestern's a very good football team. They have uh, been a team that probably has been the national playoff six of the last uh, eight or nine years. They are uh, right now receiving votes as one of the top 25 teams in the country. Uh, Coach Maskell has really put together a very, very solid program. Uh, they do a great job in their recruiting. They do a great job in the development. And uh, Obviously, even when they have changed a couple of their assistant coaches, the general philosophy of the program has stayed the same. So they really have a very strong program, and I think it's going to be a great opportunity for us uh, this weekend to really compete against a great football team. You know, it was great for us to be able to come out and play the way we did. Uh, even early in the game when we didn't score the first couple drives, we moved the football, we had a touchdown call back, uh, then defensively we scored, then we special team sets up a score early in the game. Then after that, the offense uh, started clicking, we scored several drives in a row. And I think one of the things that happened was it did give us a chance to play a lot of players. Uh, when you get going in the things, uh, I think we ended up completing passes to 10 different players. All three of our top quarterbacks played. We had basically a lot of guys play, and it's great to do that early in the year and get some of that game experience. So it was a, it was an exciting game. It was a great game for us, but it was also a great opportunity to get a couple guys out and get some other guys some game time. You know, a year ago, Dixie moved the ball fairly well against our guys. Uh, our defense went in with a little bit of chip on their shoulder, but I think our guys defensively believe we can compete with anybody. And I think they really did. They did a great job of putting Dixie in a lot of long yardage situations. And it was a standpoint the defense really helped us win the, the field position in the course of that game. But when Tommy Sager you know, basically intercepted that first one and scored, one of the things we emphasize our guys is we want to have a scoring defense. And so even in practice, our rule in practice, if we turn the ball over offensively, we chase the ball but don't ever tackle the ball, we want our guys to score. And lo and behold, uh, first score of the year comes on a defensive turnover and uh, pick six. So, I mean, it was, it was exciting to see that right out of the gate. Well, offensively, I thought we really did a pretty good job for the first game out. Uh, I think we missed a couple things from the quarterback reads on a couple of the, the check down situations. That's one of the things we want to continue to get better at. But we've got some dynamic weapons. Uh, you take a situation as far as Jonathan Beverly. First of all, DJ hits that uh, a long touchdown pass early in the game. Well, it's called back because it uh, being out of bounds. All right, well, then uh, he gets dinged up. Jonathan Beverly comes in, and Jonathan just runs over and around people and had a couple of long runs. Jonathan runs tremendously well, but I think that's all also a great tribute to our offensive line. Our line blocked tremendously well up front there uh, Saturday night at Dixie. Um, and if you go back a year ago, uh, Dixie was really tough. We, it was tough for us to run a football on them, so we wanted to be able to establish some of that. I think our guys did. They were very physical. And then even in the passing game, um, you know, Marcus uh, uh, Hines has the long touchdown reception. Um, Vernell Moon has long reception. You get basically several other guys. You know, Dan Purse has several big catches. Derek Vandervelli. Well, then we had some guys out of the backfield the same way. So I think we've got a lot of different weapons that can stretch the field, and uh, I think that helps open up the run game. So what we have to do is we just have to be consistent and, and not turn the ball over. If we do that, we can be a very good offensive football team. You know, we, we really reduced the number of penalties except for three major ones that we were very disappointed in. Uh, we had three personal foul penalties, and uh, honestly, we deserve those penalties. And so our guys have been paying a price for those penalties in practice. They'll continue to pay that price throughout this week. Uh, it is a standpoint that we want our performance to do the talking, not our mouths do the talking. And that's one of the things, you know, it, there's a fine line between being confident and uh, uh, believing in the things you're doing and, and wanting to kind of just talk and get in the opponent's head uh, versus stepping over the line and basically doing the things that are going to get us penalty. So it's a standpoint that we want to continue to get better in that realm, and uh, the coaches have been emphasizing that through the week, and uh, I believe we'll see that, that uh, uh, come out in, 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 in the positive fashion this week.